Arm, and I'm back with another edition of the Mod Tech Minute. On uh, this edition, I've got the A8, and I have changed it so it has a glass bed. Since we have to calibrate the bed of the A8 manually, uh, it's easy to add a piece of glass on top of the bed. I raised the Z end stuff up a little bit, and then I tightened my screws and it was easy to get the glass bed added and it's been working pretty well uh, the one thing I found out was uh, adjusting it for this uh, was hard because I couldn't get my fingers to push these nubs uh, so I created another design on Tinkercad and I like it a lot but it runs into these corners so I am right now using the MakerBot to print an, a new one and then I'll put those on in a minute and we'll be able to see it working before the day is over. I designed them in Tinkercad and let me take you to Tinkercad and show you those cool things and also show you where they're at on Thingiverse as well. Alright, so here I am in Tinkercad with my uh, design that I created. Uh, and let me show you, uh, only part of this is my design. If I ungroup it, and I don't want to wreck this, so I'm going to make a copy. Control C and Control V. And then I'll show you on the copy how it all comes apart. So let's ungroup again. And you can see I used a big donut to uh, round out those little ends. Because uh, when it was too fat, it actually bumped into the undercarriage of the A8 printer. And this shape was nothing really scientific. I just wanted something that would round it out. Let me hide this for a moment so we can look at what else I did in here. Uh, you can see that the center piece here is just a gear. I stretched it out to the number I wanted. And then I needed to cut out the hole from this. So that's what this was. And I just centered it. And then this was the original part that I was playing with. So if I ungroup this, you can see all I did was take a tube and I used it to cut out uh, the small pieces that I couldn't get my fingers around. So that is how I imported an STL, modified the STL, made my current design, and then used the other parts to turn it into a donut and export it. And now I heard the printer end, so I'm going to move over and reassemble the A8. And we can get a picture of how the new project has come together. Alright friends, this is why you need to always keep an eye on your printer. Uh, I was just re-leveling my bed. And check it out. Those screws have totally come out. So I'm going to shut it off. And I'm going to take off the top of the bed. Even though I was so close to having it lined up. And then I'm going to get it fixed. Uh, and tighten it all up. So then I can finally show you. Uh, how the new knobs for adjusting the bed are working so slick. I promised you that I would show you the file on Thingiverse, but unfortunately I did not bring the file home with me when I was working on it at school. But if you type the roar and then switch to users, you will be able to see all of my designs and it'll be listed in the top of the designs. I will also take time to add a link to the file in the description on my YouTube channel. All right, so we are back attached. Um, ready to adjust these as needed. Um, the nice thing is I can get a good grip on them, even when the printer's printing, I believe. Um, all my cables are good. Everything's tightened back up. I checked for anywhere else. I might have loose stuff. And it's time to get a print going. Almost forgot to attach the fan shroud that came off. Just paused it right before printing and giving it another go. And there you have it, friends. The A8. Working with a glass bed. My sweet new bed leveling knobs. And the whole process was awesome because the entire time I was learning different things about how to work my A8 printer. Once again, I highly recommend the A8 from Gearbest. 
Uh, it has so many things for you to learn and explore. Uh, the price is right, and uh, the experience that I'm having is hard to beat. Thanks for watching. Please tune in again next week for another episode of the Mod Tech Minute.